Hello everyone and welcome back to Saved by the Bellerin, an Arsenal podcast. You know me, my name's Ryan, and today I've done a analysis video on potential Arsenal summer signing Orkan Koku, the 19-year-old Turkish midfielder who plays for Feyenoord. He's been rumoured to be signing for Arsenal in the summer for a, in a region of 25 to 30 million pounds. And Mikel Arteta specifically headhunted him for the attacking berth in our midfield. And I've just gone over what I see in him and what we can expect if he does sign for Arsenal. So I hope you enjoy it. Orkan Koku is very relaxed at playing as a traditional box-to-box midfielder, the number eight in a fluid 4-3-3. Or he can play as the number 10 in a 4-2-3-1, which is the formation Mikel Arteta has used in his reign so far this season. And he has the ability to find the correct pockets of space and has the trait of already having the picture in his head where the next pass will be. Although his stats of three goals and six assists may sound not so good, in the fluid 4-3-3 he's playing in, he usually isn't the furthest midfielder forward. Koku reminds me of uh, a Jack Grealish or a Jack Wilshire, but at five foot ten, he's taller and stronger. He's got the perfect control, and he knows when to increase the tempo in his play. He can use his upper body strength when he receives the ball under pressure. He's both footed, uh, similar to Santi Cazorla, but obviously a much taller and quicker version of Santi. A style which Arsenal have lacked since Cazorla got injured. And it was very well documented how Arsenal's midfield lacked that person who can receive the ball under pressure from the defence and play next to Xhaka or whoever comes in in the summer. As you can see on the play here, he receives the ball from the centre-back. He can turn. His head is already on a swivel he can play it back to the left back to the winger or he can drive the ball forward on this instance he plays it forward he's very very good at carrying the ball which Arsenal lack in midfield the only two players I can say that carry the ball forward for them in a forward movement is probably Joe Willick or Matteo Genduzzi but they don't have the end product that Orkan Koku has He's very good at finding the right pass. And many, many fans I've seen on social media have compared him to a Meza Ozil type player, but he's nothing like a Meza Ozil. He, as I said, he's more of a, a, a Jack Wilshere or a Santi Cazorla, similar to those type of players who can grab the ball, drive forward with it and take the pressure off the number 10 if he's playing in a number eight, as I mentioned uh, to my friends in the group chat, that um, he can play in an eight with Partey and Ozil in midfield at home to the lesser sides in the Premier League, or he can play as a number 10 with Xhaka and Partey in a, in a free away from home to the bigger sides. He's got the strength and the guile about him to receive the ball, to know when to take the right amount of touches, when to ping it off one of his forward players. And as you can see on that, he's not afraid of shooting. He, he has scored quite a few long range shots from the Fafina this season. He's very, very decisive. He knows when to play it long, when to play it short. As you can see, this his movement off the ball is second to none, which Mikel Arteta will no doubt love from him. He's got the right amount of experience for a young player as well. He played 35 uh, times this season for Feyenoord in all competitions. And I, he actually started 24 of those, I believe, where at the start of the season he wasn't in the starting 11, but he broke his way in. And as you can see on the screen now, he's very, very good at finding the right pass at the right time. I made two passes there for the winger and he's played it in behind the defender and the winger's there ready to take a shot. And here he's facing his goal, receives it, and he's able to ping 
the pass in the right place. Many have said he makes the right pass for the player receiving the ball. Mikel Arteta has seemingly made it very clear to the hierarchy that he wants a restructure of Arsenal's midfield. With Granit Xhaka again his new role, which I showed in the last video I made, and he has perfected it. And our constant links to a defensive midfielder like Thomas Partey from Atletico Madrid. Okan Koku could be the centre of Arteta's restructure and the rebuild of Arsenal's midfield and he could be the birth of that for years years to come. For twenty five million pounds I think he would be a steal. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. There's going to be a lot more to come from me personally and weekly episodes from the pod. I hope you're keeping up to date with them. We're banging them out as much as we can. And yeah, like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter at RyanClayon underscore 10. And yeah, I'll be back with more videos soon.